Capricorn and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from February 22nd to March 1st. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle the busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when Capricorn content is uploaded. Capricorn content comes out every single Wednesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal reading, please feel free to check out the description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please feel free to click on the Patreon link in my description box below. Patreon subscribers get a certain number of free monthly personal readings depending upon subscription level. Now, February 22nd, Mercury in Aquarius is trying Mars in Gemini with a waxing crescent moon entering into Aries. So mental energy will be strong and it's a great day for manifestation and pursuing ideas with enthusiasm. On February 23rd, the waxing crescent moon in Aries is sextile Mercury in Aquarius. So emotionally invested ideas require further investigation. They might not been all that in a bag of chips. On February 24th, the waxing crescent moon in Taurus means that energy is going to slow down. Think through your choices carefully. It is a dot your I's and cross your T's kind of day. Once everything looks like it's good, once the coast is clear, you can feel free to dig in and accomplish something deep. February 25th, waxing crescent moon in Taurus, square Mercury in Aquarius. Focus can be an issue, so make sure you're taking plenty of breaks and get some rest. On February 26th, the waxing crescent moon in Gemini says that the mental energy is going to be booming on that day. So keep busy and focus on what you can get done the fastest. On uh, February 27th, first quarter moon in Gemini. It means that short-term plans are going to require adjustments. Be flexible like a reed in the wind. On February 28th, the waxing gibbonous moon in Cancer. Home and family is going to be your main focus. It's going to helping friends and family or working on your home, doing home improvements, or even cleaning your home is gonna make you feel more emotionally secure. On March 1st, the waxing crescent, no, sorry, waxing gibbous moon in Cancer is gonna be square Jupiter in Aries. So be careful uh, not to let this be too lazy of a day. Go easy on yourself, take lots of breaks, but you know, still do try to make it productive. Capricorn, February 22nd to March 1st. 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 Okay, now, I will clarify all these cards, but before I do, past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone. Balance, outcome, summary. Let me scoop these cards even just a little bit further up. Let's 
just want to make sure that you guys can get at least a view of the top here. Okay, so now you can see these cards better. Now, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, there is no gender in tarot. You're either walking up to somebody and talking or somebody's walking up to you and talking. We all embody giving and receiving energy, and that's really all it is. So, now when I clarify these cards, there's certain cards I will always clarify now with the Kipper deck, but the Kipper is really specific, okay? It's meant to be taken pretty literally, not have 9,000 interpretations of things. Because there is at least 50 different interpretations for every tarot card, depending upon layout. This card will be, these cards here will always be clarified by the Kipper. In any of the rest of the cards, it needs to uh, be a major arcana, like the devil card there, because it means it's a person. Or um, it needs to be a court card, i.e. needs to be at least a page, page, knights, kings, queens of any suit. And we'll get a Kipper card. Now, before I clarify with that, let's go through the basics. So you, here you are in your own readings, coming up right there. That's the, the devil is Capricorn energy. And there was something that you just weren't interested in. Either you missed an opportunity or you just said no thank you because it just wasn't for you. Knight of Swords, that is any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Gemini, also a card of Taurus. It could be with any of these signs that you could have been interacting with, or it could just be you. You missed an opportunity. Maybe you realized you missed an opportunity just a little too late, so then you went running after it. Or you went running on, because you just said no to that. Nope, nope, it's time to do something new, so you went running off into the distance. Queen of Cups is any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Cancer, also a card of Gemini. But needing to use your intuition is what it is very uh, strongly about. In the near future here, you got the Ace of Pentacles. So that is a fresh start. Four of Pentacles, be careful not to hold on too tightly because that in and of itself is toxicity. And then... Um, Someone to you, Emperor card there, that's Aries energy. It could be a boss, it could be a father, it could be a father figure. It could be just somebody embodying this action-taking energy too. The Because uh, the, the Emperor is an action-taker. He goes out and he gets, whereas for the Empress is a receiver. She waits and it comes. She grows and creates. Two of Wands here is in the balance, so standing at a crossroads... Scorpio energy there with the death card. Feeling nostalgic here with the six of cups because these cards summarize this card right here, this uh, Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. Six of cups, it's a soul contract. You know this person. Knight of Pentacles, that's any earth sign, including yourself. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo, also a card of Leo, as is the strength card, so you could be interacting with a Leo as well, but slowly moving, the Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles is moving so slow, I mean, look at him, he's not even wearing shoes, he's literally going through a stroll through the grass, he's not even leading the horse, the horse is just kind of going, I guess I'll follow you around. That's pretty slow moving energy. Lackadaisical. So I can't quite figure, is he holding his shoes or is that another pentacle off in the distance? Like, is that his shoes? Like, what is this? What is this guy doing? He's he just taking his sweet time. Strength card, needing to be strong and in that taking your time. You need to really decide if you want this rebirth. You have a choice to make there. The lover's card, that's Gemini energy there, okay? But it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It's any relationship. A relationship like is in a continued interaction between any two people. So it's a choice to make. You have to decide how you're going to respond to this person. Do you even want it? There's nostalgia. You know them. So you're thinking maybe. But don't be afraid to slow walk it. If you're not sure, you're not sure. Let's get some clarification. What is this devil card about in Capricorn's past? What were you up to, buddy? Occupation. Okay. Working. Nothing wrong with working. Working's good. 
What's this devil card about? High Priestess is Cancer Energy, Four of Cups. It's the Nope Energy. It goes right there. What is this devil card about? Ace of Wands. Okay. Offered a fresh start. Could have been offered a new position. Could be contemplating a new position. Needed to use your intuition there with that High Priestess Energy. Again, it's Cancer Energy. you got a Cancer right here, too, so you could be. To be interacting with a cancer maybe a cancer is the one who offer you a job and you just really weren't interested nope no thank you or maybe you met somebody at work right with the occupation card and you wanted something to do with them you were using your intuition wanted to offer them a passionate new beginning and they said no thank you take it as a resonance it is a general reading what is this four of cups about page of cups what's this four of cups about Wheel of Fortune. What's this Four of Cups about? Wheel of Fortune. So pages are communications. And this is an emotional communication coming in, possibly from a water sign. Again, it could be a cancer like that was in there. Now, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces energy, Wheel of Fortune. It's also about divine timing. It's about luck turning on your time. It's also about the passage of time. Two of Swords, Minor Arcana, Justice card, Libra Energy. Feeling undecided. Maybe you're thinking that maybe you did miss an opportunity. Maybe you're like, maybe I should have taken that position. Maybe I should have had that fresh start. What is this Knight of Swords about? House about stability running right towards stability that's good what's this knight of swords about the world that's capricorn aquarius energy what's this knight of swords about knight of wands three of wands knight of wands any fire sign aries leo sagittarius heavy on the sagittarius also card of scorpio looking out towards your future these two together. This is not a good combination, dudes. You know what this is? These two together in like an evening out, like in a friends group. This is that that movie about the bachelor party where they wake up on the roof and they have to go to try to find out what happened. And dude's married to somebody else. He's missing a tooth. Right? Somebody's trapped on the roof. It's terrible. Somehow they have Mike Tyson's tiger. They don't know how this happened. Right? If this is that movie waiting to happen. Okay? This dude with his player energy right there. He is inconsistent. He doesn't think his thoughts through. He just rushes off. This dude's moving so fast he doesn't have time to think his thoughts through. On the traditional deck, like a deck like this, this guy, the horse is like, Dude, you're going to kill me, man. Knock it off. Slow down. Right? <laughs> so you're gonna, this is moving way too fast. You are moving way too fast. You are running straight towards some sort of situation here in your past. Some sort of stability, maybe a commitment, could be if this, if you, this is, could be a marriage. You got engaged really super fast. Maybe you were ready to get engaged really super fast. Now you're looking out towards the future, realizing that something here has to come to an end, you're look, or you're looking out towards the future, contemplating some travel. Something of that nature. What are you doing here? What is this Queen of Cups in Capricorn's present moment? Judication? What is this Queen of Cups in Capricorn's present moment? What are you guys doing? What is this Queen of Cups in Capricorn's present moment? Are you serious with me right now? What is this Queen of Cups in Capricorn's present moment? So clearly you can see how the energy is moving, right? I mean, come on. Judication. Judication is, uh, you know, this could be a divorce. This could also alternatively be a wedding. 
It could be a judgment. It could be just be a choice that needs to get made. You need to be using your intuition here about an offer coming in or an offer you're about to make with this Page of Pentacles. Focus on your, your own happiness there. That's good. Nine of Cups. All right. Makes you happy. Fill in your own cup. Fill in emotional satisfaction. Fill in your own cup, though. Okay. This is not an indicator that other people are filling your cup for you. You're filling your cup, which is a better place to be in. But if you're running head first towards house, adjudication here, they better be filling your cup too. Ace of Pentacles. You fill theirs, they fill yours. Ace of Pentacles, that is a offer. Guys up to here. Even though I don't normally. What is the Ace of Pentacles here? False person. Ooh, what is this Ace of Pentacles? In Capricorn's near future. Two of Cups. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Careful, careful now. Ten of Cups. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Eight of Swords being up in your head. Yeah, we've got a false person here. In this relationship, in this community that you already know, Ten of Cups, it's, it's home life, personal life. Now, if you work with your friends or family or if you work at a place, you know, that is feels like family where the people feel like family to you it you know it can also mean work up in your head about something in this relationship something within this community because there's like an offer here ace of pentacles look like it's a fresh start but you're up in your head something doesn't feel right and it shouldn't because there's a false person here what is this four of pentacles about knight of cups what is this Four of Pentacles about? Justice. What is this Four of Pentacles about? Nine of Swords. Four of Pentacles is holding on way too tight. Two worries. Careful with worries. Worries are prayers that we don't want answered. Don't stay way up in your head. Get yourself back to balance. Don't be worried about what this court is going to do. The court is going to do what the court does. Okay? Unless you're a lawyer preparing for court, you let your lawyer handle those things. Knight of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Pisces. Also a card of Aquarius, though. Don't hold on too tight to anybody or anything. There's going to be a communication that comes in. It's going to be an offer. What is this Emperor card about? Thoughts. This Emperor is thinking about you. What is this Emperor card about? Hierophant. What is this Emperor card about? Queen of Swords. What's this Emperor card about? Five of Cups. Feeling sad. They're feeling sad. They're thinking about you and feeling sad. Hierophant. That's Taurus. That's also a card of higher learning, higher education. It's a, a an employer. It's a boss. It's a, a jury, a judge, it's um, it's the ascended master as well, so it could be somebody from church, like, you know, any officiant from any religion. Queen of Swords, that is any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Libra. Also a card of Virgo, that's Aries energy there with the Emperor. Now this could be, you know, parents, because this is ruled, you know, the... I know this Hierophant card here, it, you think this is a man, but it's ruled by Venus, okay? Then Aries rules the Emperor, so this is really like an Empress card. This person is thinking about you, and I'm possibly thinking about a higher level of commitment with you, but feeling sad about it, needing to make a head over heart decision. There's sadness there. What is this lover's card about in Capricorn's future? What are you doing? Change. Oh, you're going to change something. Okay. What is this? You're making a choice for sure. What is this lover's card about in Capricorn's future? 
Knight of Pentacles. What is this lover's card about? Seven of Wands. What's this lover's card about? Page of Wands. I chuckle because Knight of Pentacles is down there. So that just lets us know that's your energy. Okay. So you're definitely making a choice and you're going to change something up. There's something about a communication that comes in here, Page of Wands. Possibly coming in hot kind of thing. And by that, I mean like the people is bees angry, yo. Right? Seven of Wands makes you feel defensive. Knight of Pentacles. So you're just moving real slow. You're going to be slow to react, slow to respond. You're going to move away slowly. I mean, this might be like the, and I'm going to block and ghost. People block and ghost. Let's block and go. What is this Two of Wands in Capricorns? I do that quite, quite a bit. They get to a certain point, and if it doesn't feel like communication is getting anywhere with me, with them, and they don't do it, then block. Two of Wands. Privileged Lady. What is this Two of Wands about? Queen of Pentacles. What is this Two of Wands about? Three of Pentacles. What is this Two of Wands about? Two of Wands is clarified by the Two of Wands. I'd look up the angel number 22. Privileged lady. Okay, so this is, uh, I mean, people who are privileged, you know, including uh, the ladies, they all had all of the highest fashion. You know, they had a lot of money. Standing, I'm really standing at this crossroads. You're standing at a crossroads Capricorn energy here, okay? Because that's the Queen of Pentacles is any earth sign. But it really is a card of Capricorn. You're standing at a crossroads. They're standing at a crossroads about this relationship. Three of Pentacles. Whether this is work, this is home, it doesn't matter. Because this is an official building. This is somebody people know that you're with. You know, no matter how you're with them. If you're friends, people know you're friends. Okay? It's just official. People know it. What is this death card about poverty Oof. what is this death card about in Capricorn's outcome four of wands what's this death card about eight of pentacles what's this death card about king of cups it's any water sign cancer pisces scorpio heavy on the scorpio also a card of libra That's like basically getting the Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. There's something with this relationship. If you're going to have a rebirth of it. Eight of Pentacles. There's, there's so much work here. You need to be emotionally balanced or they need to be emotionally balanced when dealing with this situation. Could very well be dealing, dealing with the Scorpio. What is this Six of Cups about? In Capricorn's summary journey okay what is this six of cups about is it feeling nostalgic for a trip you took five of wands well five of swords sorry what is this six of cups about five of wands what is this six of cups about seven of cups i guess i could feel that coming I look up the angel number 55. Uh, journey, huh? Taking a trip someplace, feeling nostalgic, soul connection. Active competition. This is, is gossip. Competition, politics, office politics, world politics. People not minding their business. Like, don't these people have something better to do than talk about you? Five of Swords, that's just a conflict that's already happened as well. It was happening in the past, it's happening in the present moment. This is like an argument, this is like a fist fight. But this person was bested, right? These people were bested, this guy's picking up all the swords. So it's an argument that was won in the past, possibly about a trip, because somebody you already know, now you're looking at options here. Which if you're worried about being left out in the cold, you could be looking at options. What is this Knight of Pentacles about in Capricorn's summary? Gift. Okay. What is this Knight of Pentacles about? 
Ten of Wands. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Seven of Wands. Oh, sorry. Seven of Pentacles. What is this Knight of Pentacles about? Three of Swords. You're feeling heartache here. Some kind of offer that you made possibly was rejected. Three of Swords. Or will be because this is in the future. You're thinking about making a change because you're feeling defensive up here. Seven of Wands. You're wanting to set down these burdens. You're wanting to get rid of this heartache. You're trying to walk away from this stuff. You know you need to be patient. As you're lackadaisically walking away. Because you're setting your own pace. This is like... this. Is, I feel like this is a case of rejection with your protection. And that's the gift. What is this strength card about in Capricorn's summary? Expectation. Be strong. There's something better. What is this strength card about in Capricorn's summary? Six of Pentacles. What is this strength card about? Judgment. What's this strength card about? The moon. Pisces energy. It's also the Scorpio energy here. It's also a card of being in the dark. Yeah, you need to be strong. Make your expectations very clear. Be very, you know, make a definitive choice here. Because you're feeling in the dark. Or this Leo is feeling in the dark. He really feels like you. It's feeling in the dark. Something's not right. It's not equal give and take, Six of Pentacles. It feels uneven. Which is no bueno. We don't like the Six of Pentacles. We like things to be even. Let's get you advice. Advice for Capricorn. February 22nd to March 1st. Eight of Wands. Advice for Capricorn. February 22nd to March 1st. Knight of Cups. Advice for Capricorn. King of Wands. Nine of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Pisces, also a card of Aquarius. King of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Leo, also a card of Cancer. Expect communications to be coming in. Interesting, interesting. Now I could have sworn we saw, there's the Nine of Cups here. Be careful not to be holding on too tightly. Don't get all worried up in your head. Be ready to take some forward motion. This feels rather like either there, whoever this King of Wands is for you is going to uh, communicate to you and it will have you communicating back with this King of Wands or it is quite possible that a communication that comes into you has you moving forward quickly and with enthusiasm with that King of Wands energy. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, I mean, li really listen to whatever is being said. I think that's really the advice there. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. Message for Capricorn. There's something better. Message for Capricorn. A year from now. Message for Capricorn. The only one? Yep. Trust. You're going to have to trust that there's something better. Advice for Capricorn, February 22nd to March 1st. Your commitment is being tested for a quarter moon. Advice for Capricorn, February 22nd to March 1st. You're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. Advice for Capricorn, February 22nd to March 1st. A time for healing. Balsamic moon. Yeah, don't move so fast. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. Emotions are running high, super moon. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. What do you need to release? Waning moon. 
get you a fairy message. Message for Capricorn. Remember, no, reawakening, reawakening the magic. Ooh. We fairies fade from the sight of those who deny us. Fantasy is in truth the old wisdom. Trust that you can see us and reawaken the magic. Believe and intuitive answers will arise. Well, I hope that helps, Capricorn, because it is what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars, and you have a right to be here. <laughs>